Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. We're currently set up at Lake McMurtry West on McMurtry Lake in Oklahoma. We're headed north to Kansas to see family in Wichita. We're done here at McMurtry. Two beautiful nights. You got to check out this video because this, this is a fantastic place to, to do some RV camping. But right now, we are packed up, ready to hit the road. We are gonna drive oh, about two and a half hours, according to Google. It'll probably be three and a half hours, according to RV time. We're gonna drive north and then jog west. We're gonna go north to Wichita and then jog left. And we're gonna pay a visit to Cheney Lake and spend three nights camping at Cheney Lake State Park. So come along with us as we explore Cheney Lake State Park. Let's go. Cheney State Park. You know, I had no idea that I, Interstate Highway 35 from Oklahoma at least to, to Wichita, Kansas, I had no idea that's that's a toll road. <laughs> you would think that it being a part of the Eisenhower Interstate system, it would be free like most other states. That's all I'll say on that topic. We have arrived at Cheney State Park. We're in site number 145. Right there. It's a buried fiber optic cable. I don't know what that means. We're gonna explore that though. So site 145 is a pull through, but in my opinion, it's backwards. See, we got the fire ring and the cooker on this, on the street side. And they're all that way. But I chose to do things my own way. So we're in here backwards. There's kind of a gravel pad, not much of one. We've got a beautiful forest, water and electric. Thirty and fifty. Uh, I guess that's just a breaker. I don't know. Site number one forty-five, Cheney State Park, is ours. Gonna eat some lunch. Oh, it took us four hours. Well, three and a half hours to get here with a, a grocery stop and toll booth stop. So, gonna get gonna grab a bite of lunch and then we'll go see some stuff. Cheney State Park. If you're looking at Cheney State Park on the map and and the Google satellite image, uh, where we are, we're, we're the pull through loop. And between the pull through loop and the lake, there's actually primitive campsites but it's not real clear on the on the pictures or the map is is there actually water access i have found us a trail it's 
So there may actually be some water access. We'll explore that shortly. Cheney State Park is a pretty big park. They actually have a boat ramp. It looks like a two-laner, but it's actually just a one-laner because if you see, <laughs> it's a, it's a one-lane one -lane gravel road to get to it. But there's another one right over there. So I guess it is a two-laner. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Inside of Cheney State Park, there is the Cheney Sailing Center. And according to the sign, they're promoting sailing in Kansas. I don't imagine there's, there's probably not too many places to sail in Kansas. But I'll tell you this, from an RVer's perspective, the sites over, there's a few sites over here by the Cheney Sailing Center that they're like right on the water. Says day use only, but that's more than day use. Looks like there's five sites right on the water. All right, let's go see some more stuff. It's been a while since I've seen this many sailboats all in one place. There's actually a beach over here too. Of course. It's identified as a sailing and swim beach. I don't know if that means you have to sail before you can swim or swim before you can sail. They have a, there is a sign on that building right there that says they'll teach you how to sail. So if you're in Kansas and you want to learn how to sail, they'll teach you. All right, let's go see more stuff. Cheney State Park. Do you play disc golf? Have you ever thought about playing disc golf? Well, Cheney State Park has a disc golf course. I guess that's 18 holes. It's a lot of holes. They have quite a few, quite a few hiking trails as well. Uh, so far, none that I would take Little Red on. Anyway. Let's go see some more stuff. Saw a sign that said, select swimming beaches open. I don't know if this one's open. This is in the day use area. Way down at the end of the road. Cheney State Park from Cheney Reservoir, Kansas. I'm not sure, I guess this is a fishing jetty. A, a, a handicap accessible fishing jetty maybe I'm kind of kind of getting the overall sense that oh, so Cheney 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 State Park seems to be uh, very neglected All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Cheney State Park. We have arrived at the for real and legitimate boat ramp. That's not a dirt parking lot. That's actual concrete. And they have a courtesy dock over there. And then the one that I'm on here. We're right by the, the dam. So now you know, if you have a boat, this is your place. Let's go see some more stuff. Cheney, Cheney State Park. I lost my windsock. Cheney State Park has cabins available for rental. And there's no litter by the cabins. All right, let's go see some more stuff.
So I've just been out tooling around on the scooter this morning. It's a beautiful morning here at Cheney State Park West. And I've seen, and I, and I saw something that I've never, never, ever seen before in all of my RV travels. You expect to see all manner of vehicles when you're RV camping. But this, this takes the cake right here. I have never ever seen tractors. Takes all kinds. Let's go for a little scooter ride. State Park, Kansas. I'm just tooling around on Little Red, just looking for something. I'm desperate for something to do a video on. Well, hey, how about a fairy ring? Fairy ring of toadstools. All right, let's go see if we let's go see if we can find some more stuff. I'm at Cheney State Park, Kansas. And this is the Spring Creek Wildlife Observation Area and Interpretive Trail. Hey, let's go take a ride on it. It's paved. Let's go see if we can ride a little red down it. Oh. From bacteria to beavers. Oh, it's not so paved. We'll go as far as we can. Uh oh, got a duck. Sorry about that. That was out of my control. Seem to have lost the trail. I'll see if I can pick it up later. All right, where are we? Cheney State Park. That's where we are. We're at Cheney State Park. We're done here. We spent two two comfortable nights, two beautiful starry nights here at Cheney Cheney State Park on Cheney Reservoir, Kansas. We're done here. We're packing up. We're gonna hit the road. We've got another place we're headed to that's really exciting. The Cheney State Park. My thoughts on Cheney State Park? There's a lot of litter. It's it, it the day use areas seem to be very neglected. A lot of beautiful, it's a very pretty park, a lot of great sights, but they're all, in my opinion, backwards. But that's okay. You know, you can make do like we did with this one. Uh, I'm not sure this would be a great waypoint stop because it's kind of off the beaten path. There's not any main north-south arteries. But if you're looking for a place to spend two or three days decompressing and resetting and you're in Kansas, this might be one you'd want to consider. If you're in this area, it is definitely a destination most like, and if you're a boater, this is boater's haven. Not too great for bank fishing, especially when the water's low, but there's a lot of opportunity for the kids to go swimming. A lot of hiking trails, a lot of fun stuff. 
I think it's worth a visit if you're in this area. All right. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. I certainly appreciate that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?